Hello, I'm Ludi, and welcome to Cinema 4D tutorial number one, adding 3D objects within a movie clip. Now, a lot of people have asked me, how do you do it? Like, what's involved? They go to tutorials, they can't find anything. This tutorial is basic. It's going to be showing you exactly what to do. Now, what I've just done is created a three-dimensional window, and um, that saves me time. Now, you guys can create whatever you want. You can create a car, you can create a house, but for the time being, I've created a window because the reason I've created a window is because I'm going to give the illusion that the final product of a person which I've recorded in the game Oblivion I've had someone walking towards the camera so it'll actually look like at the final product it'll look like someone's walking towards the window um, and you're staring at the window looking at the bloke coming towards you so what we do is I've created a uh, basic window I've then gone and I've added a target camera to the scene now what a target camera does is um, like positions where the camera we're going to actually make it move so it's we're just staring at the window so there's um, all the corners are cut off so we're just looking at one thing and that is through the window itself now we do that just by moving the camera around and position it where we want so it actually we're looking at that window that just staring at it one time like that so we move it around and position it a hundred percent and when you're happy with it, uh, you just use the uh, X, Y, and Z vertices, the uh, red, yellow, and blue arrows, and you move that around until you find the best spot you want. And when you're happy with it, you then go back to the main screen, which is our um, uh, perspective view. We then go to the light object up the top, and then what we're going to choose is a option called background. And what background does is everything is going to be listed at the back. It's our base plate for our movie clip. We are going to add the movie clip to this background object so that everything is at the back. So our three-dimensional objects are at the front and our movie clip is at the back. Um, and everything at the front, like the glass and the window we've just created, is going to show that movie clip through the window. So how to add the movie clip is we go and make a new material. We then have all these options that we can choose. We can add the movie clip to any single one of these. We can add it to bump, so um, it'll make it look all bumpy and, and stuff like that. Or for, for the time being, we're just going to add it to color. So we go to the browse and we select our movie clip. We then click OK, and then this little option comes up here just saying, if you want to add it, and we go yes. And there we go, our texture is now listed. Our movie clip has actually become a texture itself. We then um, drag the texture onto the background object, like that, and um, we double click on it. So we've got all our um, options for that particular uh, material. We then click on the actual name itself, which is oblivion.avi, and we have three options there, basic, shader, and animation. We want to go on animation. We then click calculate, which calculates the number of frames required in that movie clip to um, that it needs for the 3D object. So it's 480 something, 487, 482. Sorry. Uh, we then go to our project settings by going Control D, and we copy and we paste that number into the maximum number of frame rates. We close it off, and then once we render that, if we render that right now, it would actually render the movie clip. And so that's pretty much how easy it is. That's how basic it is to add a movie clip to a three-dimensional object. So here's the final example of um, how it turned out. So I hope you got a lot of information out of this tutorial. If any questions, please PM me or give me an email. Check out my website, www.shillingentertainment.com. I probably will be making more Cinema 4D tutorials, but um, hopefully this one helped you out. So um, thank you. Have fun.